this video, I'm going to walk through connecting the EMQX open source MQTT broker to Timescale DB. Timescale is a powerful time series database with a number of features to make your database run smoother, faster, and smarter. First, create a Timescale DB trial account and create a service. Make note of the region that you're creating your service in, as it'll need to be in the same region as your EMQX instance that we'll create later. You can leave the defaults and create the service. Before moving forward, the key info that we need here is the database name, the host, the port, the username, and the password. You've now successfully created your timescale service. Now we can go into the EMQX Cloud Console and start a 14-day free trial of a dedicated plan. Here we set to Professional, AWS, matching the region that our timescale service is at. And then we can leave the rest to default and click Next. And deploy. This will take a moment to fully configure and run. In the meantime, you can open up a tool such as PG Admin or any other client tool for Postgres. And we're going to do a couple of things. Mainly, we need to create the table that we'll be using later inside our timescale database. So we can click on Add New Server and then go to Connection. And here we add in our host, which we got earlier from when we created the service. And then our port. And then the username. And our password. And we can opt to save our password. Now we click Save. And we see that it's successfully connected to this database. Now, to create a table on a database, under our user TS admin, we look at the database, TSDB, right click, click Query Tool. This allows us to run commands on this database. So, first things first, we're going to create a table that will store temperature and humidity values. And I'll use this key name for the timestamp. So, click Execute and it has successfully created this table. Now next, we can turn this table into a hyper table, which is a feature of Timescale DB that allows it to better manage large sets of data. And if you had already had data on this table, you could use the migrate data equal true to move that data into that new format for the hyper table. In this case, we don't need to use that and we can simply execute. And now we have a hyper table. Returning to EMQX Cloud, we see that our dedicated deployment is now running. We can click on it and see that we have all the information needed to connect to it. But the first thing we need to do is go to VAS at the top here and create a NAT gateway so that it can connect to services outside of its IP address for things regarding data integration, such as the Timescale DB integration. So we'll click subscribe now. We'll sub select our deployment, agree to the value added service agreement, click next, by now. And now we can go to the service and now we're able to use this with Timescale DB. To set up the Timescale DB integration, click on data integrations and then select Timescale DB. Here we're going to use the information that we gathered when we created our timescale service. And then we set our pool size to one. Now we click test. We see the resources available. Now we can click new and confirm. Now here we can create a new rule. For this rule, we'll use select timestamp and add it as our uptime stamp, which is the name we gave on our uh, table in our database. And then similarly, we'll do the client ID as client ID, which is the name 
given in our definition for a table. Likewise with temperature and humidity, extracting it from the payload of the message that's received on this MQTT topic. So we can click Next. Now we create the action for what happens after it's extracted that message on that topic and formatted it for our table. We'll then have it insert into the temperature humidity table using those names for the values. We can click confirm. And we could add further actions if we'd like, but we only need the one. And here it'll tell us more about what's happening. We have our basic information about our rule and its action. Let's test if this rule and action works. So we're going to use our online test here in EMQX Cloud. But to do so, we need a username and password on this MQTT broker. So we go to authentication and we'll quickly add a user. For test purposes, we'll make username pass and password both test. And we'll type it in here. Our host and port are already configured. We'll give it a name for this connection and we connect. Here we're using the topic temperature, humidity, slash EMQX. And the message we want to send is temp. And we'll make this a floating point number. We'll say it's 75 degrees. And the humidity, which we'll say is 5.0. Oh, I'm going to click Publish. Now, if we go back into PG Admin, we can do a query on this. Select star from temp underscore humidity and click Execute. And we see that the rule and the action worked. And we now have the temperature and humi humidity published with the timestamp and the client ID in our timescale DB. Let's create a way to visualize data in our timescale database. Create a free account with Grafana Cloud, and then click on Connect Data, type in Postgres, and select it as a data source. And we're going to add a new data source. And here we put in all the information about our timescale database. Click Save and Test. And we see the connection is OK, and we're good. Next, go to the home page, click on All Dashboards, click New Dashboard, Add Visualization, collect the data, select the data source that we just created. From here, select the table temperature humidity, select the timestamp, add another column, select temperature, then select humidity. And now we can click Run Query, and we see our singular data points. Here I have a Python example script in Code Sandbox that connects to an EMQX MQTT broker using user credentials and then publishes 50 messages of this style of a JSON message with temperature and humidity. So all we need to do to get this to work is add in the address for our EMQX broker which we can find from the overview page, copy, and paste. And then the port is 1883, the default port, and username and password is test. So we can save that and restart this script. We'll see that it connects and begins publishing these messages. Now we can go to this dashboard, click refresh, and we see that those data points are coming in. And we can zoom in to see it with more clarity. So congratulations if you followed the instructions correctly. You created an EMQX open source dedicated MQTT broker, created a user on that broker, created a timescale database for time series data, created a table on that database, turned it into a hyper table so that it's more performant, and then you created a rule and a data integration that whenever a message is published to a topic on the MQTT broker with temperature and humidity, it's extracted published to the database, and then we created a Grafana visualization of that data in that database, which is a powerful set of tools to have if you're building an industrial IoT application 
where you want to be able to visualize large sets of time series data.